I'm Jimmy Black with Music on 11 outside the Vanguard, uh, actually at the Hunt Club next door where I'm interviewing Invent Animate. Yes, yes sir. Okay, <laughs> going to introduce yourselves to all the people out there in internet land. All right. <clears throat> I'm uh, Caleb, I play bass for Invent Animate. I'm Trey, I play drums. Why, thank you. I'll take my mic back now. And we're standing in front of the American flag. This is the most patriotic interview we've done. So, <laughs> where are you guys from? Uh, Houston area, Texas. Texas, not too far from Oklahoma then. Yeah. That is a good eight hour drive all the way down there. Yeah. So, how long have you guys been around? Uh, we were discussing this yesterday. I think, I think we've been in like an active band for like two, maybe going on three years. Yeah, about that. Yeah. It's kind of like, you know, <clears throat> trying to figure out with your girlfriend when you guys' anniversary is. Facebook well, this official. is the day we met. When it became Facebook official. There you go. <laughs> so now you guys uh, just released uh, Everchanger. Yes. And uh, I actually got a copy of this a couple of days ago and got to listen to it. Awesome. Uh, what is your favorite track from the album? I personally like uh, Nate. <laughs> okay. Do, do you need to look at the back of the album? <laughs> <laughs> That's why we brought that. Right, we, we have pre-production, and we name them all these stupid things. Like one of these songs is called Horse in pre-production, but it's called uh, Nature Hold. We that was the that, first. That's completely different from. <laughs> Yeah, don't worry we're, about it. Horse and Nate. Like, no, I'm not horse. Be, like oh, a horse. horse. H-O-R-S. H-O-R-S. Like, okay. Yeah. I thought you said horse. We have like horse, slanted eyes, blast. But my favorite is Nature Hold. Um, <clears throat> just because it, it's very high energy. And yeah. we got our, our friend uh, Jesse Cash from Era to sing on it. So it's overall just a, a banger in my opinion. I like playing it live. Now, um, I'm going to ask you about your name. Where did that come from, Invent Animate? Uh, th I think, I think they usually credit me with it. I can't remember, but, uh, <laughs> I'm the intelligent one of the group and uh, I'd like to take credit for that. <laughs> but, uh, I, I was honestly thinking of words that sounded cool together and I think animate was the first one and invent came last. And then, uh, I don't know, we just kind of paired them together and thought the combo was cool as like an order, like invent, animate, like create, bring to life. That's yeah. kind of what the idea is. Create or destroy. Yeah, yeah. something like that. Uh, that. Yours is a lot more positive than that. <laughs> <laughs> a little bit prettier. Yes, flows well. But yeah, it's, it was really uh, just throwing words together, really. To, <laughs> and then we kind of came up with like a meaning, a meaning for, for it. it. Yeah. So. Well, you know, if you notice, like, all the band names have been taken. I mean, you, you search online, and you start plugging stuff in there, yeah. and it's like, you know, every torture device you look up is some sort of band. <laughs> Dark of, metal like, band. Belgium or something. <laughs> yeah. You know, that's, I guess that's when we started getting phrases, you know, for bands, and they had to start stringing words together. Like, I wrestled a bear once, <laughs> you know? I'm sure that that, that no, they were like, there's no way somebody has this already. <laughs> I know 100% for a fact that no one has this name and never will ever. I guess it's ever come out. So now this is the uh, the second day of the uh, the tour. Um, how is that going so far? It's colder than I thought. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't it's have like, a jacket. You're not in Houston anymore. Yeah, it was like, not, this isn't my jacket. I didn't pack any long sleeves. Uh, yeah. this is, I didn't bring a jacket because it, it's, it's 90 like hot, degrees at home it's like right hot now. hot as hell where we live and... I don't know. I asked him before we left, and I was like, "It'll probably get like kind of cold somewhere, huh?" <laughs> nah. And he was like, "No, it'll be fine." Yeah, this um, is Oklahoma, man. The weather will change in like five minutes. Yeah. Like, tomorrow will be like ninety, and the day after that, we'll get like snow. That's how Texas Sick. is, pretty much. Except Without actually, snow. us, it's always hot, but the rest of Texas, I don't know. So now, how do you guys feel about pit ninjas? Pit ninjas. <laughs> The brave, the they, few, <laughs> the pit ninjas. They exist. Yeah. They, they are. Right. Um, Do you need to keep your distance? Actually, it's cool. Like, if if there's any kind of reaction, that's sick, honestly. Yeah. Yeah. You know, as long as people aren't, like, standing around. Checking I, their phones. Yeah. Oh, yeah. If, if they, <laughs> the worst. You know, if they need to fight invisible people, that's okay. <laughs> if they need to punch each other, that's fine. <laughs> 
Any I have noticed like this evolution of, uh, of of pit styles, you know, in the last twenty years. You know, I mean, you used to have people just kind of shoving, and then you, you had you know a little bit more action, and now people are just full on like karateing. <laughs> that is a word, by the way, karateing. Yeah, and and I mean, this dude was throwing bows in there. I mean, fortunately, like everybody kind of kept their distance, but if one of those connected, you know, that's yeah. that's that's a fight right there. I've seen cartwheels, yeah, backflips. It's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> it happens. I'm just kind of wondering what's next. Are people going to bring swords and like have full on like samurai warrior fights, <laughs> executions? <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's kind of like uh, you know, it's just it just keeps upping like every couple of generations. Yeah. You know what people are doing there. Raising you know? the bar. And uh, you know, there's uh, there there was a lot of action though. I noticed a lot of people moving, which like you just said from the stages is, is really cool. Yeah. So, um, what's going to come next for you guys? You know, after after this tour, uh, we have a run lined up with Betraying the Martyrs uh, from overseas somewhere. They're from France. France, yeah, crazy. Accents. I'm glad to hear France has some metal coming out there because yeah. I was there a couple years ago and everybody was just into hip hop and. Oh yeah, people love them here, so we're we're excited to be a part of that. We're actually going with them in Reflections. Uh, we're going to breach into Canada for about a week or so, and uh, that'll be in November. So we think this is cold, but that'll probably <laughs> kick our yeah, asses. Yeah, make sure you pack a coat. <laughs> yeah, maybe. But, uh, yeah, we got that. And then uh, we're playing South by So What. It's a big festival down in Dallas, Texas, yeah. around the same time as the South by Southwest, which is in Austin. Uh, and that it's lineup going on, is like, right. stacked. No. Is that right Austin now? City Limits is going okay, right now. Yeah, yeah, my bad. But South by so, uh, that's It's my job to keep up with that stuff. <laughs> just, just in case it ever comes up in an interview, like right now. Yeah, we should know. We should protect this. So. But, yeah. um, now, what, what made you guys uh, get into this? I mean, what, what, what band did you... I always ask what influences are. Who did you see uh, performing and you said, you know what, I, I want to do that? Uh, for me, it wasn't so much seeing someone perform. It was just kind of like word of mouth about certain bands and kind of like screamo music kind of scared me at first i was like oh that, that sounds dark like <laughs> but uh i think under oath was i can speak for myself and uh our vocalist ben he's world's biggest under oath fan but mm -hmm. that that was like my uh foundation of m anything metal related uh, from there i got into other bands that were rel uh, relevant at the time like chiodos norma jean this All also the, helps us put tags on the video, so people yeah. that are fans of those bands can come and check you guys out. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> cool. but, Little uh, trade secret there. <laughs> that the producer's laughing. <laughs> <laughs> that, that was it for me, and, and then it just branched on from there. Uh, I loved it. It was high energy. It was fun, angry. It's cool. For me, uh, for me, like Metallica <laughs> got me into like metal in general. Which album? Justice and Justice, Justice for okay. All. That's the heaviest one. Now, you look a little young to know when that came out. So, like, when did you discover that? Like, uh, did, was it an older brother that was like, dude, this album's going to change your life? Yeah, or? actually, my, yeah, my brother was, like, super into Metallica. And he had these, like, VHS tapes. They're called uh, Live Shit, Binge and Purge. They're from, like, 89 and, like, 91 or something. And uh, 90, I, wa I literally... 90, 93. Really? Okay, my bad. <laughs> uh, when, I was, uh, when I was, like, 12 and 13, I literally just watched them every day. Yeah. And then... Um, got into that and uh after metallica i started branching into like other shit like metallica like megadeth and pantera there's certain pantera yeah um then i kind of got into like heavier i guess as i lay dying got me into like the metalcore so, genre and yeah kind of went from there but just kind of once you get into this genre there's tons of bands that are super accessible because yeah. i don't want to say they sound the same but you can definitely get into any it, it fits in that genre. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah there's a lot of sub-genres. Like I was saying, Under Oath was my first, but right now I listen to it. every end of the spectrum as far as metal goes. Yeah, metalcore. and there are so many different genres being, you know, uh, invented every couple of days, and there's a label yeah. being put on, and it is so hard to keep up, you know. I mean, you've got math metal, you know. Yeah. And, and, I mean, I've, I keep hearing different, you know, so it's, it's, it's all under the metal moniker, but... You know, once you have the subclassification, you can say, oh, but they sound like this. If we're going to put words right here, what we'll words are we going to put the there? We'll the iTunes link, and it's going to go right here. That'll go right there? Yes. We'll put even it put it right between your hands right that's there. My, Do you want to pet it? it? you want to pet it? 
Okay, don't molest it. You just pet it. No, on top. On top. <laughs> All right, guys. Thank you so much. No problem, Keep man. it turned up to 11.